Hello and welcome to Changers. Some of you may know my challenge in November is going to read 30 books in 30 days. Obviously that's going to be a challenge, but especially because my normal reading speed is really low, it's going to be even more of a challenge. Usually when I test my reading speed, I'm around 100 words per minute. In comparison to a normal reader, it's around 200 to 250 words per minute. So I'm half the speed of a normal reader. I am a slow reader and this will make this challenge even more difficult for me this is actually the main reason why i want to do this challenge because i know i have difficulties to read that i read slowly during this challenge i want to practice and learn how to read better and faster so until today i've never read many books the only books that i've read on paper was for school when i was younger i've done plenty of audiobooks but only a handful of books for myself if I manage this challenge to the end, I'm actually going to read more books in one month than I have read in the whole rest of my life. And this is why I'm so interested by this challenge, because I am going to practice a lot of reading in a very short time. I really hope to improve my reading skill. So in preparation of this challenge, I have ordered 38 books, but it's more than 30 books, which will give me a little bit of flexibility to choose one book or another if I find that one book is not interesting. And also I started learning speed reading by reading the speed reading book by Tony Pizan. This book is known to be the, the Bible for speed reading. Tony Pizan has done a lot of studies on speed reading and he put all of his results in this book. And it's been quite interesting reading this book. Throughout the books, there's many exercises to test your reading speed. And the first exercise is to test your normal reading speed. And when I took this test, I ended up at 67 <laughs> words per minute which is horrible. It's probably one of my worst reading speed ever. There's obviously a lot of progress to do. So I haven't finished the book yet, but the last exercise I did, I ended up at over 500 words per minute. So there is obviously an increase in speed. I've lost a little bit in comprehension, but I do hope, and this is the goal of, of speed reading, is to keep or even increase your comprehension as you're reading. Why increase your comprehension when you're speed reading? Speed reading is about reading a chunk of information in one time. Instead of reading word per word, you're going to get a chunk of information. In that chunk, you're going to be able to connect the information a lot better instead of having disconnected information. When I read normally and I read really slowly, it's often that I forget what I started reading at the end of a chapter or even at the end of a sentence. I have to go back to the beginning to remember what I've read and read it again. Sometimes I even have to read it three times. Obviously, this is going to slow me a ton. This is a way that you can improve your reading speed by not having to skip back. A few months ago, I started reading The Da Vinci Code. This took me, I read this for a few hours, probably like three or four hours, and I've read about 100 pages in four hours. If we estimate the number of pages in this book, it puts the reading time for this book, for me, at the, the current speed, of over 20 hours which is going to be very difficult for the challenge of reading the whole book in one day. After learning a little bit about speed reading, I've read again the first few 40 pages. And that time, it only took me 30 minutes, which is over three times my original reading speed. I'm going from over 20 hours to less than 10 hours if I'm able to stick with this reading speed throughout the book. It's still going to be challenging. One thing that I took from this speed reading practice is the understanding and the comprehension of the book. The feeling, the action, the rhythm of the story is something that when I was reading slowly, I had no feeling to it. I was kind of forcing myself to read and I understood the story, but it was very mechanical and very step by step. And it took me so long to go through the story of a small part of the story. But now with, with speed reading, it makes so much sense. And I so much understand why people love reading and they go into reading and what they, they follow into hours and hours of reading. And you feel the passion there is in the story. You feel the action, the suspense, the thrill and everything. It's, it's almost like watching a movie. I also understand why I never enjoyed reading before because it was so slow and so step by step and it took so much time it was painful and i don't even know how i managed to read a full book i'm realizing that i never learned to read properly before so when when i'll be reading this book during the challenge i will start the book back from the beginning to have the whole story and there will be no cheating i will read the book 
from beginning to end in one day. So here's a few techniques that I've learned about speed reading that you can apply and start practicing and increase your reading speed quite easily. One, the first technique, I started talking a little bit about it, is not back skipping. When you read, you need to keep on going forward. If you misunderstand your word or if there's a connection that doesn't happen, keep on going. And the context that you have around is going to give you the connection you had with that part you missed. So avoid back skipping. We are going to triple the words that we are reading just by back skipping. Two, the second technique, which is the biggest technique of speed reading and the most important, is about grouping and chunking the words together. Instead of reading word per word, you're going to try to read a chunk of word from three to six or even seven words if you can. In one glance, you're going to look in the middle with your peripheral region. You're going to absorb the information from all the words around. And this way, with two or three glances per line, you're going to, need to be able to read the integrity of the line and to understand it. More advanced techniques on this are going to be to read several lines at the same time. It's not really reading, it's more like gathering the information, having a, a grasp of it. Your mind is going to put the puzzle pieces back together by itself once you get all the connections. Three. The third technique is to use a pointer. You can use your finger, but really your finger is a little bit thick. What you can do, you can use a pen with a, a thin tip and you're gonna be able to point to where you want to read. Actually pointing is not gonna be a linear motion. You are going to point to the chunk of words that you want to read. If you get used to pointing twice per line, you're just gonna point the first half, then the second half. And this is going to, going to orient your eyesight. Instead of having your eyes moving around before focusing on the chunk of words that you want to read, having a pointer will help you focus directly and it's going to save you some time when focusing on your, your sight. Four. The last technique I have for you is practice speed reading at a speed over your capacity. The idea here is just to, for you to push your capacity forward. You're going to lose a little bit in compression during that practice. But the goal is that when you come back to your normal reading speed, you are going to be able to go faster with a good comprehension. I also want to share with you something else. A few years back, I started practicing already speed reading. At that time, I, I used an app on my phone that would give a bunch of exercise to increase your speed recognition and your peripheral vision. But at the time, I only focused on those exercises and I didn't do a lot of practice in reading. The result is that I never actually put into practice my speed reading. I got the capacity of having a wider peripheral vision and to get the information very fast out of one glance but I never continued into reading a whole chapter a whole book and this is why this challenge is going to be very interesting to do combined with speed reading because there's going to be a bunch of practice right after learning speed reading during my challenge in November I will try to post every day on this channel one video about the book that I've just read I'll do a quick resume it's not going to be anything fancy. There's not going to be a lot of editing because I'm obviously not going to have a lot of time. But I want to keep you updated of my challenge and my reading. If you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in November.